Hello, welcome to my presentation on how to can okra. After picking the okra from the garden, we wash and clean it. Then we cut the two ends of the okra off to discard. The rest of the okra we cut up into small pieces to cook and can. Here we are preparing the uh, canning jars. We use mason or and um, ball cannon jars. Now we're going to add six tablespoons of white vinegar to a gallon of water that we're going to boil the okra in. Here we're about to add two tablespoons of plain salt. After allowing the water to come to a boil, we add the okra. Then we uh, let the water come back to a boil and we boil the okra for a full six minutes. Periodically we check on the okra and give it a stir. After we uh, let the okra boil for six minutes, we turn the stove off. Then we put the okra up in jars. You can tamp down the okra. I would uh, be careful not to mash it though. Meanwhile, we are preheating the um, lids for the sealing process. We uh, turn the oven stove back on to uh, bring the water back to a boil. After it comes to a boil, we um, use the uh, water to top off the uh, jars. Now it's time to put the lids on the jars. Using tongs to safely retrieve the um, lids from the boiling water, we put the lids on the jars. We use a towel to hold, better hold the jar and to tightly uh, secure the lids. Care must be used during this process because it's very easy to get burned during this time. When the jars start to cool off, you'll hear a sound like this. This sound signifies that this jar has sealed. After the jars have cooled off, we need to check the seals on the lids. If they hadn't sealed, then it will be loose like this one. Here's the finished product. After months of uh, sitting on the shelf, you can retrieve one and empty it out into a colander. Then you can uh, rinse the uh, okra off and um, you can use it in soup or gumbo. You can believe it or not, you can fry it up to real crispy. This has been a presentation on how to can okra. Thank you for watching.